Ugh, I never know how to start these things. <laughs> it's so awkward. Okay, welcome again to another travel sketchbook tour. I just finished this um, today, actually. So we'll go through everything that I've done and you guys can listen to me ramble for a while. As always, this is a Stillman and Burn Beta Series sketchbook. It's my favorite of their line. As always, I plaster my sketchbook with stickers. Uh, we've got a few of my stickers on here. Um, this little guy and this guy here. Um, some stickers from fellow artists. Dawning Collective, I'll link her stuff below. Um, it's really beautiful. And Creative Chaos, I'll link her stuff below as well. And then just some random stickers that I picked up at different adventures that you'll see in the sketchbook as well. So let's um, get right into my sketchbook. This is how I decided to treat my first page in this sketchbook. And I think I did this in my last sketchbook as well, possibly. But it just makes for a really easy thing to do, list uh, all of the places that I've been in the sketchbook as I go along. I think maybe I'll swap it next time where I have this as the nice cursive and I do the places in just kind of a normal printed font, whatever. And then I started this journal May 23rd, 2019. This is my entire summer basically. If you've seen my previous sketchbook tour, then you'll know that it finished in Kingston, which is where I did a weekend solo travel trip, just me and my dog. And uh, I still had a few things that I wanted to paint, even though I finished up that one sketchbook. So I just continued on into this one. Here is a spread that's a collection of different things that I liked as I was wandering around Kingston. They just all happened to be blue. I think I started sketching them all down and then I realized, oh, these, <laughs> these things are all blue. And I also have a speed paint of me painting this um, particular spread, so I'll link that down below in the description as well. Another place that I went to was the Kingston Penitentiary. Next, I went on a girl's trip with my sister, sister-in-law, and mom. My sister-in-law and I both turned 30 this year, so this was sort of our birthday present slash celebration. Um, we spent uh, two days at St. Anne's. And this is another angle. This is from the front. And one of the best things about St. Anne's is the food. They have incredible food. I decided to do a little bit of hometown tourism, I guess. Uh, so I went around and took some pictures of some beautiful buildings in Peterborough and beautiful locations in Peterborough. And these are two bell towers, um, church steeples. A little building in Peterborough that I'm in love with. This is right near our Saturday farmer's market in downtown. So I decided to attempt to do it. And all of these white bricks, I used um, this Winsor Newton masking fluid for that. Yeah, I just like the effect that it gave. I didn't have to go in and individually paint around each brick. And I was able to get a really even wash of color across the whole house without these random lines kind of mixed in. So yeah, I love the effect that that had. And this is along the canal in Peterborough. Uh, I wanted to test out a little bit more with the masking fluid and experiment a bit with it. And so then there are these uh, birch trees along the canal. And I did a little bit of a different thing than I usually do. So I did the masking fluid and then I didn't go back in with the black pen. I decided to just leave it you know, paint and paper and then have the back black pen kind of around the perimeter a little bit in some of these other areas. But I like the technique. I like the effect that it has. I don't know if I'm going to do this uh, more in my work, but I really enjoyed the process of this 
in this particular one. And then a friend of mine got married this summer and her bachelorette party was in Niagara Falls. And the next morning, a few of us went to Niagara on the Lake, which is just down the road from Niagara Falls. I do have a video uh, showing me paint this, I believe. So I'll, I'll link that below. There's a lot of videos that happen throughout this. <laughs> I think even St. Anne's, yeah. St. Anne's, I did a video um, for this as well. So I'll link all of these vlogs and videos and stuff down below. And then I had a couple friends from Scotland come and visit and I took them around Ontario a little bit and showed them a few of the beautiful Canadian um, scenes and sights to see. So I took them to Algonquin Park, which is a park in um, Ontario. It's about a two and a half hour drive away from Peterborough. I started a series called, um, I think, Travel Watercolor Techniques, Travel Journal Watercolor Tech. I don't know, whatever. I'll link it down below, like everything else. <laughs> so this spread is me showing my method of doing bricks. Um, I have a little house here from Niagara on the Lake, or building, I don't think it was a house. And then this is from Abbotsford House in Scotland. I lived in Scotland for two months last summer and this is one of the places I went to. And this is another technique video that I did um, for clouds, but I also, when my friends came and visited from Scotland, I took them to Coburg, Ontario to see Lake Ontario. And so this is also kind of uh, showing that that's a place that I went to this summer and experienced. Um, so it's memory and a technique video, I guess. Then this is at the Peterborough Zoo. And I really love the yaks, I love their noses. And they also have a wallaby enclosure. These last two pages I did from pictures that I took and this spread here, I wanted to actually go and do some drawing in person. I went to two enclosures. I went to the monkey enclosure, the squirrel monkeys in particular. And then I went to the emu and wallaby enclosure and decided to do the, this emu that sat down right in front of me for about 45 minutes. He was just kind of dozing. It also started to rain while I was there. Uh, you can see the little raindrop, which, um, you know, is a bit annoying, but also I can now look back at this and be like, oh yeah, it was raining. I remember that because of this mark on my page. That's the nice thing about um, sketching on location is you have these things that happen that wouldn't happen if you were in your hotel or at home after the fact drawing. So I like doing a combination of both. And then most recently, this was just this past weekend, I went to the Bruce Peninsula, which is an area in Ontario between Lake Huron and the Georgian Bay. I did a little vlog for it, so again, I'll link that below. <laughs> and you can check that if you want to. It's sort of a mixture of me sketching and uh, some of the viewpoints and whatnot of my experience. So I stayed at a place called Lands End Park. And my first full day there, my only full day there, I started out by going to the Singing Sands Beach. I just sat on a pier um, or like a little boardwalk area and did some sketching. So this is Lake Huron. And then after I went to the Singing Sands, I went to the east side of Bruce Peninsula and went to a place called Mermaid Cove and uh, we found a nice little shady spot my dog and I and we just sat there for we were there for about an hour maybe um, doing some sketching and then just kind of sitting and soaking in all of the beautiful scenery and this is the Georgian Bay and then the next day on the drive back to Peterborough, I did a few stops and one of them was at um, a place called Devil's Monument Trail. 
and there's this really gorgeous shoreline and it's all of these rocks it's a little bit of a misleading picture where <laughs> this is kind of a different picture than this one anyways so yeah this is georgian bay out here again beautiful turquoise water and uh, quite a relaxing area kiwi and i were there for maybe you know 45 minutes to an hour something like that and then my last uh oh almost last bruce peninsula thing is just a little map that i did showing some of the places i went to and this is another um, painting of Mermaid Cove. I have a tech, another technique video that I just did talking about how I did the water here. So you can watch along and um, listen to some of my rambling explanations on how that happens. Also, I just really wanted to paint another painting of Mermaid Cove because it was so beautiful. And then this, um, I did a little photo shoot with a friend of mine and she had me travel sketching in the photo shoot so these are just some little paintings that I did while she was taking pictures so I didn't want to paint anything here because it was at a different time and I just decided to leave that blank because of that and then uh, some other little ones I'm not like thrilled with how this one turned out <laughs> um, but I like this little snail this little snail is fun and then that's it. So that is it for my travel journal. I hope you enjoyed and that you will join me again in a future video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.